Why is sports one of the most profitable industries on our earth today? Why is it that sports stars make millions upon millions of dollars throwing around a ball whilst the average person gets paid but a fraction of that for supposedly contributing more to society? Why is it that we adore watching these grown men run around for a couple hours scoring imaginary points to win an arbitrary trophy? Well, to answer all these questions, we must first ask ourselves, what are the roots of all stories that we tell ourselves and tell others? And when we break these stories down, we always see one invariable. Conflict. Conflict is the root of all legendary stories, of all notable events, of all mythology, whether it be Romeo and Juliet or Avengers Endgame. As humans, we inherently are intrigued and excited by conflict. Sports, when stripped down, bring us back to some of the most primal elements of our nature. Aggression, physical competition, tribalism. And despite these three things often having negative connotations, this is by no means a bad thing. Humans in the modern developed world have created a society so structured, so unakin to any culture we've seen since the late Roman Empire, that our instinctive primal nature is so often unattended to. In past times, we fed these natural hungers with war, with the conquering of nations, with gladiator fights and public executions. And whilst these things are completely barbaric, there is an element of each of them that taps into the masses' lust for conflict. Over the years, humans have found tamer methods to entertain ourselves, to tell these stories of conflict, and in some cases, barbarism. Originally, we did so with theatre, with faux battles and imitations of aggression, and as time went on, we developed films to provide the same entertainment. But one thing, one thing lacked. The realistic element that the likes of the gladiator arenas provided. The genuine adrenaline and fear that came with watching seven foot men ward off exotic beasts. And this realism was replaced by a concept less dangerous, but no less elating. Organised sports. Because really, sports are little more than unscripted plays. Theatre is a physical accomplishment that we embrace with unabridged investment, as these games truly become a matter of life or death in our tribal minds. And as we watch these games, we slowly become more and more attached to these superhumans and super teams. Of course, there are those that are cast out, not dissimilarly to the gladiator arenas of old, but it is the characters in this grandiose play that we call seasons and tournaments that truly lead to a love for the games themselves. Earlier in 2020, Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, tragically passed away. And as he did so, the entire world came together in one moment to mourn. Because these players, as they put on these magnificent showcases of physical mastery for us, the ones who stay around longer than most and rise above the majority, always become more than just players. They become idols, legends, sometimes deity-like figures, who we feel almost become part of our family. The story of Kobe Bryant in particular is one that provides inspirations to millions. A boy from Italy thrown into one of the grandest stages of them all, able to have an impact as grand as he did purely through a passion, a love for his craft that provided a work ethic that is now unmatched. Not only do his game winners, his incredible scoring games, his five championships and his Oscar provide entertainment and wonder. But it's his vow to excellence, his ability to fight through hardship and failure, and his continued promise to work to be the best in all fields of his life that provides hope to millions. From the kid who wants to play in the NBA, to the 20 year old college student who wants to pursue his dream of being a lawyer. These players provide hope, provide inspiration to master one's craft, whilst the teams themselves do something entirely different. It's the teams, the nations, or in most cases, the cities, that are able to bring together people the likes of which would never meet. The doctor can be united with the truck driver. The office worker can cheer alongside the personal trainer. For one brief fleeting moment, the crowds can make up something so much more than the individuals. It doesn't matter what may be your background, your upbringing, your political beliefs. Within that hour long game, any and this play can get the ball pass first down, whether this serve stays in or not. Because at the end of the day, we'll all go back to our lives, 
go back to the stresses and worries of the everyday. And whoever gets this trophy won't have any real impact on most people's lives. But the joy, the glory and the unity that these grand physical showcases provide is a feeling that is unmatched by any film or any play. Whether you're playing sports or watching them, you know that your brothers and sisters in arms have got your back. You know that if you keep putting in work, you can master this physical ability for at least a moment. And you know that these trophies aren't arbitrary. They are a physical reassurance that the sweat, the passion and the love was all worth it. That it all mattered. And that's it. There's a new NBA champion and it's a team from Toronto, Canada. We the North are now we the champions. Hi there, I'm Joe. I just want to say thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, it'd really be appreciated and it would really help me out if you could hit the like button. Also, if you want to see more content like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And whilst you're down there, comment what the most impactful thing about sports has been on your life. With that being said, thanks again for watching. I've been Founded Scarab and I'll see you in the next one.